day. Bye, friends and friends. How in the heck are you? Holy buckets, it's been a while. Sophie and I are across the pond. We're on a little place called Ebony Island. Yep, in my little fancy truck that she bought me. And I'm trying to get used to driving on the wrong side of the damn road. I don't understand why people want to drive on the wrong side of the damn road, but it is what it is. Oh, oh stay on the road. There we go. Easy buckets. My good friend Mouse from across the pond, he said, hey, why don't you come over, you and Sophie, why don't you come over here? And uh, I found a little place where we could do some farming. I said, well, you know what, Mouse, we could probably do that. So news got around that we were going to do some serious farming. And then another individual by the name of Grease Monkey, he thought, hey, I want to come farming across the pond. So he's come farming across the pond. So we are here. Sophie and I are just getting things set up. She is back at the farm. I tell you, we, we bought a cute farm. Oh, we bought a dandy little farm in the trees. We got lots of forests. We got some fields. Got some old style equipment, but we're doing pretty good. Yeah, it was a sad story. A guy uh, had this farm for sale, and he was part of this uh, secret society of naked twister players. Yep, so they would all get together at night, these old folks, you know, and they would play naked twister. And the other day he was playing naked twister, and he had a heart attack and died right there on the twister floor. So the farm became for sale, and Sophie and I thought, hey, let's pick it up. So we bought it. It's not much. Trust me. It's not much. Once you see it, it's not much. But we got a lot going on. We have got a lot going on. Oh, crap. Yeah, see, you, you, you just drive right by. You just, you, she just, there's so much going on. You just, oh, come on, little red Prius driving butthole. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm backing up. Beep, 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 beep. I'm turning into my driveway. You can go now. You can go now. Come on. Get out of my driveway. Oh, you got to be kidding me. My trailer's in the road. Sophie is probably looking out the kitchen window saying, look at that wackadoodle. He can't even drive into his own damn farm again. Come on. Oh, I look good. I got a Kubota sweatshirt on. I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good looking man. I, that's what most tells me. Every time he sees me down at the pub, we go there at night, you know. Okay, I'm out of your way, Prius driving butthole. You can go. Come on. One, two, three, go. I had a little bit of road rage there with those Prius, Prius driving butthole. But anyways... Uh, welcome in to our dandy little farm here in the woods. Um, we put up some bins and I've got a conveyor. I have some fields that need to be harvested. So I got the conveyor all set up to go. We're gonna, it just stopped raining. We had a little light sprinkle this morning. So in a little bit, I think our fields will be ready to go. We got a couple of barley and oat and some sorghum fields. So instead of selling it right away, I'm gonna put it in these bins because I'm thinking I'm gonna invest in a meal. I wanna invest in a meal, you know? Sophie and I, we had the big farm back in Middleboro. Oh, to tell you what, a lot have changed there. Lots have changed. We um, we sold a little uh, farm up in the woods and we bought the old vineyard. So we've been working on that hard too. So I'll have to get back there and show you what we've been doing there. We kind of take this little trip across the pond back and forth, but it's going pretty good. So being that we are sponsored by Kubota, we got some nice Kubota stuff. And uh, what I'm doing here is we don't have much money in the bank. We only got 2,181 bucks, but we have a huge forest land here. So I'm kind of cutting down some trees and I'm going to make a little money at the sawmill, hopefully. But I, that, uh, that mouse wackadoodle guy, you know, he tried to get me into that secret society of the naked twister players. And I'm saying, mouse, I got better things to do. I don't need to see senior citizens getting together to play naked twister. It just doesn't turn my tractor. So anyways, but he knew the guy that owned this farm and that's how we kind of got hooked up with it. But so it is, it is pretty good. So we have a vast land here of forest. So I'm gonna cut some trees down and maybe I'll make a little bit of money because we're pretty, pretty, pretty broke. And then we do have, holy crap, man. We got like $600,000 in debt from going into this place. So we don't have much, but we, you know, I think it's pretty good. We got, we got some stuff going on here. We got um, seed fertilizer, you know, it's, it's, it's more smaller fields being across the pond here. All these damn hedges that you got to go around and small fields and, but it's okay. So first things first on the list, being that it stopped raining and I got the, uh, why is there a, uh, well, that was interesting. Not every day you see a flying tractor come over your grain bins and over your grain auger. But uh, that, that, that's interesting stuff. That is um, very interesting. Well, that was pretty entertaining. I tell you what, that's what happens when you go farming with a guy named Grease Monkey. He uh, throws his equipment on your farm. But anyways, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep going. I parked the truck up here. I just came back from the dealership. I bought a uh, Kubota skid steer. Why I'm only down to 2,181 bucks. But I got a stump grinder on there because I've been cutting down some trees into my fancy Volvo Globetrotter here and getting them ready to go to the sawmill while it was raining. I figured I would do some of that stuff while it's raining. 
So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into the harvester. We, we got three fields right across the road here. I got, um, well, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. I think I've got, I got, I got two sorghum, a barley, and an oat. I'm pretty sure. And like I said, I'm not going to sell them because I want to store them because uh, Sophie and I want to get into the grain mill business. So we can just do that. I think I should have enough room to get the combine and the header through there with my, uh, like the water tractor, my auger. We'll fire it up. Oh, look at that fancy sprayer I got. I got a fancy baler. I'm telling you what. Sophie, she kind of had a she kind of had a mixture of things going on, but she said I want this and I want that and I want this. So it's kind of a uh, a plethora of stuff, and it's actually pretty good. I'm actually uh, quite happy with it. So we'll take the far out here. I don't have I don't have that big of a header. Ooh, better lift the header off the ground. Let's see, raise my reel up there a little bit. And so I have three crop, three bins, so I can do um. So I want to do them all at the same time. Then I got to switch bins. I just have a problem with that. You know, I have a problem with mixing crops in one bin. So I think we'll go to, well, we, I tell you what, we just go to the one right across the road here first. Oop, easy does it. Easy does it. I'm telling you what, it has been so long since I've been driving some farm machinery. Can't even talk as usual. Farm machinery that I'm kind of getting used to it. So give me, just uh, bear with me here. I'll finally get the hang of it here. And then I'll have to um, come back and unhook our zeal from the uh, low loader trailer and we can use that whoa i'm oh, okay you're gonna wait for me thank you very much that's so kind of you now i want to make sure i've got um straw sauce on as well okay we'll the header and uh we'll just start thrashing thrashing some grain i'm telling you this is exciting stuff this is exciting stuff so like i said i want to make sure i got the straw swath on oh yeah we do because i'm going to pick up these um the straw swaths, and I'm going to bail it because what my my thinking is. Look at all the look at all the venison out there to eat. I'm telling you what, they, I didn't I didn't realize that across the pond here they had all kinds of venison, but they do. So I'm going to get the Vermeer baler. I'm going to bail up all this straw because I eventually want to see. If you look, I mean, all that way over there, all this is all my land, all my forest. So that's what we're going to. I'm going to put up some cattle pins eventually. I want to get in there. Um, and do some other stuff and like i said i want to put up a grain mill here and have an access to the road so other people can participate in my uh, grain mill oh that's a big pile my other uh, my grain meal production so that, that's kind of my thinking so i got a lot to do to get going here but sophie's excited she says hey let's do it let's do it and when she bought this combine she didn't realize that um these <laughs> these fields oh crap i drove through the hedge there that's ah, shameful absolutely shameful but I might have to upgrade the combine, but like I say, we are broke. We got, you know, no money in the bank. And I want to say, I'll just take a quick look at my banking here. My fancy bank. Yeah, I'm 600 grand in the hole. Not as bad as that grease monkey guy. He's like negative 800 and some odd million dollars. I mean, he just, uh, I don't know where the bank gets off giving him all that money because I wouldn't borrow him 10 bucks to go buy a, a six pack. No, I probably would. He'd be good for a six pack at least, but that's okay. And then Mouse, on the other hand, Mouse owns an island. Yeah, we're on an island, and he owns an island. Isn't that, isn't that ironic? And he has been doing some serious logging, and that's why the price of uh, logging has gone way down so much, because he uh, kind of uh, took away the market from everybody else. And I tell you what, it's just, you know, you think you would um, help out your friends, but no, let's just uh, be the uh, wood logging guru of the island. We are on an island. Oh, have I showed you? Here, I'll show you my island. Ebony Island here. Ebony Island. Oh, it's a nice island. So I am right down here in this neck of the woods. This is me. So I have uh, this farmyard. Sophie and I have this farmyard, and we have these two. Uh, we'll see. What am I doing now? I'm doing oats. So I have an oat field. I have a uh, sorghum field, a sorghum field, and then I have two barley fields. So there's my four fields here, and then I own this property here, right here. Yep, all this forest here too. So I'm, this is all going to be developed in the future, and then of course that. Um, Grease monkey wackadoodle. I was going to buy this forest here over here, but no, he decided to jump in and do it. His farm is up here. He's the uh, green guy, ugly color. And then Mouse has the other island. I don't know what they call that island. I'll have to ask him, but he's been deforesting all this to make grassland. He's got a big farm over there. I used to own 167. I, I, did, I did own that, and I, I should actually almost buy that again. I did that just to piss him off. But. Um, because he bought some other fields down here too. So he's trying to invade my property as uh, I think I should invade his property. So we have the far, we are combining this fine and outstanding uh, oat field here. 
Yeah, right? Oats, and then I got two barley fields and a sorghum field. So it's going to take me a little bit of time. But um, luckily enough that all our fields were in tip-top shape. So once we come to, uh, we should get a pretty good yield. We should get a pretty good yield off of it. And like I say, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to store it because I want to get into the grain mill operation. But, man, I have got a lot of logging to do. I have got a lot of logging to do. It's going to be, it's terrible. It's a stupid game. I don't know why I play it. I, I don't know. I don't know. So Sophie and I at Middleburg, our base farm there, we, we've been doing a lot of vineyard work, and it is very, very stressful. we got to get back because we have um, the next crop to do. So we got a lot going on there, plus we, have, plus we started a big potato operation in Middleburg. So Nitro Dad, my good friend, he, uh, he got us kind of set up pretty good, too. So we do owe some money there, too, as well, but we're not that bad in debt. So I'm figuring between the two farms... Middleburg and across the pond here at Ebony Island, we should be able to make a pretty good living off of it, I think. I think. As long as Sophie stays away from the weeders. Yep, she's got to stay away from the weeders. Had a little weeder problem back then, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, I got some dead weeds in my uh, field here, don't I? But I think, <laughs> now, I, now that I think about it, I think a, a bigger combine is definitely in the uh, future for us. But this is, this is cute. This, this will do the job. And then what I'm thinking about doing, I was talking to Sophie about it. I own, let's see, I own it. I own that field there. I own this field. I own that field and the one above it. Um, it could be some anti, anti-British here, and I could really take out some hedges, and I could combine this all into one nice field. That would kind of be the uh, thing down the road. And then, of course, I can use these uh, hedge stumps for, I don't know, my fireplace in the wintertime. You never know. I don't know how cold it gets over here. We're on an island for crying out loud. It can't get that well. You know, the whole um, whole UK is an island, so should it get that cold. I mean, it's not like back there in Minnesota where it snows and it's 10 below and 40 below and the wind chill 70 below. Oh, that's miserable stuff. Yep. Yep. No more Minnesota winters for me. No more. But anyways, I'm going to carry on here for a little bit. It's good to see you again. It's been a very long time, but I hope you're uh, doing well, staying safe. And I'll carry on with this field here a little bit. I got to go, what do I got in there? 1,553 liters. I'm going to have to go get the, uh, the zeal unhooked and bring it back over here. And I can load it into that thing. And then we can try to dump it off into our um, bin. And hopefully everything goes as planned. I'm telling you, Sophie must be paying some bills. I'm losing money by the minute here, man. By the minute. I got 5,500 liters on the uh, FAR m 66 s Fancy dancy combine. I'm gonna load in the truck here and hopefully this works just fine and dandy. Oh look at that! We're unloading some fine and outstanding oats into this the zeal. I'm telling you, life life could not get any better, my friends. Life could not get any better. Holy crap, that didn't look like a lot, does it? That does not look like a lot. But we'll continue on. We will continue on harvesting this fine and dandy old field. Anyway. What? Did you hear that? I gotta get some WD forty on that. Holy crap, that looked bad. Uh, miss a little bit here. We'll get that, and we'll continue. I'm telling you, life is good. I hope you all you are well. All you you all are well. I, I I really have a problem. I seriously seriously have a problem. I don't know if I should invest in a wind. Well, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I do have a load of wood chips. I do have a load of wood chips in the uh, trailer at the farm there that I did some wood chipping. So I have a load of that. Oh, I guess right down there. I uh, that's where I ended. Oh, I'm telling you, I gotta get back. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get back in the swing of things. I, I, I'm losing my mojo, man. I'm losing my mojo. I think mouse and grease monkey have taken away my mojo. I wonder what they're doing. You know, I should pay more attention because those um, wackadoodles, they like to um, spray paint my trees. Yep, they like to spray paint my trees. I think it's funny. Some graphic. X-rated messages that they spray paint on my tree that I can't show you on camera. That wouldn't be very good, but it, it's 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 not very good. No, I don't know why they do it. I don't know. I, they get off on it, you know. And they go down to the pub and they laugh to themselves and think how funny it is. Oh, we spray painted men's trees. Ha ha ha! Make it dumb. Grow up, people. Grow up. Grow up. My header is not going up and down. I was trying to get my header to go up and down there, but it's my header's not going up and down. Yep. Seriously need to uh, reconsider the uh, a bigger combine. But Sophie found this at a great low price, so we had to kind of go with it. We had to go with it. 
But Winrow, I can't afford a Winrow. We can just get that from your Baylor out here. We'll just make straw bales. Now, the question is, I don't know where to put the damn straw bales. Um, I really don't have any place to put them. We'll just kind of have to, uh, I don't know, find a place in the trees to put them in the meantime. But that's what I was kind of excited. Well, I wasn't really excited this morning. But when I got up this morning, and, uh, oh, there it goes up. There it goes. I got to hit the right lever. Is that, is that what they say across the pond here? Lever? Because I would say lever. But I think they say lever, don't they? Like garage. What the hell is a garage? I still can't figure that one out. Somebody the other day, I was, I was down at the store, and they said, well, how big is your garage? I said, what the hell is a garage? Well, how big is your, you know, a garage where you park your vehicle? No, that's, I have a garage. I don't have a garage. I have a garage. And they just kept going on and on and on and on and on. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It was, um... <laughs> and the interesting thing is, this guy that I was talking to about the garage, garage, his name was um, Mediocre Toilet, Mediocre Toilet, no, uh, Medium Toilet, Nice Toilet, something toilet, it was really it was really weird, he called himself Toilet, I don't know, I was going to ask him, why do, why do you call yours Average Toilet, maybe it was Average, that's what it was, Average Toilet, I think, Average Toilet, Mouse knows him real well, I have to ask Mouse what his name was, but it's something like Average Toilet, and I, I couldn't quite figure it out, why do you call yourself Average Toilet, I don't know. I mean, what is an average toilet? Think about it. What is an average toilet? Wouldn't you want, like, a superb toilet or a uh, fantastic toilet, a uh, stupendous toilet? No. Let's just be an average toilet. I don't know. I like the high ones myself. I really like the high ones. I, I think they're, they're even better yet, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So I got a little bit of more oats to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to finish this up, and then I'm going to dump it into the zeal, and we'll go across the road there, and we'll dump it in our bin, and hopefully everything works just uh, stupendously. All right. Oh, crap. Deer. Oh, deer in my driveway. Sophie, get the gun for crying out loud. What are you doing, woman? I got that field done. We have got 6,633 liters of high-quality, across-the-pond grown oats, so we'll back up here to our auger, and uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm hoping, I'm, I don't know how that song goes. Oh, crap, we'll go for the post, and we'll back up here, and uh, hopefully everything works good. I get the tractor started here. We'll back up to the nice, uh, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm, I'm hoping they got everything set up. I got everything working. Um, so we'll jump into the capota here. Oh, that's running. That's running. Okay, I got the auger sitting there. We can go down a little bit with it. There we go. So that's going pretty good. That's working. And I'm moonwalking all over the place here again. So why am I not unloading? Come on, man. I want to load these oats for crying out loud. I got to put my bin. I got to... Oh, there we go. Oh, I just hit the thing. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, it was working. There we go. Try that again. Drop the hatch. Okay. Apparently this truck does not like this uh, setup I got going on here. Oh, Sophie. Oh, we're unloading. It must be a mechanical floor. <laughs> I don't know. I thought my box would go up. Something wrong with the zeal. Something's wrong with... Oh, it's got the star on it. That's the damn problem right there. Okay. So hopefully we've got... Uh, well, I should be able to tell you. Hopefully we got some uh, oats in there. Sophie, do we have oats in there? Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We do. I got these fancy little displays on the outside of bins. I walk up to it and tell them what's going on. Okay, perfect. So the oats is done. So now I need to uh, clean the combine out across the road there and then move over to a different field. But I'm wondering if I should do that tomorrow, if I should do a few other things here tonight, and we can continue harvesting tomorrow. Let's take a quick gander at the uh, Jacinta B harvesting calendar. Oh, yes. Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, sorghum down here. Oh, yeah, I have time. I have the whole month of September, and it's only the first of September. So we can let that crop ripen a little bit more. Maybe we'll get some better yield. Get a little bit more lower moisture on there, too. Okay. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, take the zeal, and uh, we will run across the road here. Let's go find the next field. Let's see. We got the oats. I got sorghum up there. I got one down here. I'm trying to remember how in the heck I get there. How in the heck? Oh, crap. Oh, boy. All kinds of different Prius driving different colors they got going on here. Is there a road up this way? Oh, I think I should have gone the other way. Because I got, oh, I got this field here. 
This field here I got, that should be my barley. Oh, there's the entrance up there. So I'm gonna park the, the truck near the entrance. I'll walk back, I'll get the combine. I'll bring the combine up here. But I'm thinking what I wanna do is, if we're gonna start combining this stuff tomorrow, because it's really not a hurry right now at the moment, I'm just gonna park the truck um, off to the side here, next to the hedge. And I'm gonna, well, no, let's, let's back up. Oh yeah, let's back up over here. I know my neighbor. Oh, watch out. Oh, I think I just dented the fender on the truck. Yeah, we'll put it right about here. Ah, oh, look at that. I look good in my Kubota sweater, don't I? So we got that. I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna get, well, let's just walk over there and get the combine. I'm gonna get the combine. I'm gonna put the combine up here too. So we'll start that. Well, you know what? Maybe even later today. Maybe even later today, I don't know. We'll just jump the hedge. Jump the hedge. I'm a hedge jumper kind of guy. Oh, look at this. Oh, barley. Oh, perfect. Good looking barley, no weeds, 100% fertilized. Oh, I'm telling you. Yield bonus. Oh, we're going to get a 99% yield bonus. That's just, that's just stupendous. So I'll get the barley harvested, and I have... Do I have two fields? I can't, I can't remember. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Oh, yeah. I've got uh, barley, barley, and sorghum. That's what I've got. Two fields of barley and a field of sorghum. So... I'll move the auger to the next bin. We'll do the uh, two fields of barley, and then we'll move the auger again to the third bin. We'll do the field of sorghum, and we'll have all the crops in the bins. But I think in the meantime, after I get everything moved over, I got a load of wood chips. Let's take that up to the sawmill. Let's go for a drive. We'll see the sites, jump the hedge, and uh, we'll see if we make any money on the, on the wood chips. Because I add that load of wood chips, and then I can maybe just do a little bit of logging. I don't know. We'll see how the day progresses. It's only 1.45 in the afternoon, for crying out loud. I was just thinking to myself, Sophie's kind of being a little bit lazy today. She could have been out here cutting down some stupid trees. I do have three cut down. I went down to the store and got the Kubota, so that's up here at the stump grinder. I got to get rid of these stumps here. Uh, yeah, stumps everywhere. I don't want to have any stumps. I don't like stumps. So we'll get them chopped up too. So I'm in the process. I got this fancy little winch thing. It kind of works pretty good to pull them out of the trees, and then I can get them loaded up. The Kubota, the Kubota handles them pretty good. The uh, MB201, it handles them pretty good. It's, it's, nice, it's a nice tractor. It's a nice tractor. Uh, Kubota contacted me and said, hey, you know what? You guys want to you wanna try our tractors? I said, okay. It's got a lot of wear and tear on them. I mean, they, they've got some hours on them, but uh, it's okay. So I do have the uh, Globe Trotter here. I do have some logs on there. So I got that process going. I had the low loader. I unloaded the uh, skid steer, but I still have that trailer there. I got that loaded with some wood chips. So, and that tractor's on my, well, we'll just take this one. Well, I got the thing on there. Huh. Yeah, I don't I don't think my little case track, well, this is, what the hell? Let's try it. Let's see if the case tractor will pull it. I don't know. This could be interesting. And if Mouse and Grease Monkey see me driving up the road, they're going to say, what in the world, man, are you doing? But you know what? I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. They can say whatever they want. This is a fine and outstanding case tractor. I bought this at an auction in the nearby village. Yeah, there's a tragic story on that one too. I'll remind me to tell you later. I'm telling you. It seems like, to be honest with you, it seems like that mousy guy, he um, has, oh, the back tires came off the ground there. He seems to have all these stories of uh, bad things happening to him and people he knows, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this pulls it just fine. So we have 18,500 liters of wood chips in here. We might as well go make a few bucks. 1261 I'm down to. Oh, watch out for my little fancy little lights. Yeah, Sophie bought those down at the uh, home store and made me put them up on the driveway. She said one night she was coming home late from the pub and uh, couldn't see the driveway. I said, well, quit going to the pub. Seems like a logical explanation to me. I don't have that same problem. And I go to the pub. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. See, another example of um, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Crazy. It's a crazy concept. I don't even know where they got it from. Somebody Google that. Let me know what you think. So eventually, we will be coming up here to Mouseville. Yep, Mouseville. 
up on the other island. I still gotta figure out the name of that island. I have no idea what the name of that island is, but we'll figure that out. Coming up on Mousefield land, and we'll go to the sawmill and dump off these wood chips. I got 1,261 bucks in the bank. Case tractor's working pretty good. Oh, I have it redlined. And we'll see, maybe, maybe a little extra. Ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I think somebody just sabotaged my, uh, my tractor, to be honest with you. Look at this. <laughs> I'm telling you what, whack the noodles, whack the noodles galore. They, you know what? And they've got all the fancy stuff. They've, they've got all the fancy stuff. They've got those big fancy tree harvesters. They've got brocks. They've got trackers. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm just about to fork your windshield. And then, uh, yeah, look at those big fancy trucks and trailers. Um, you know, it's sad. It's sad. They're cutting down all the trees in the land. Pretty soon, we will just be a, a treeless island. Yep. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody cutting some grass here. I'm telling you what, de deforestation. That's exactly what it is. Defo oh, I think I want to go this way. Um, hey, he left his uh, mower with a beacon light on. I hope your battery goes dead and you can't start it. That would be a good thing. I hope so. Holy cow, that's a lot of grass. Man, that's a lot of grass. Big fancy mowers. I don't understand what these people do, all they make a living. They have all this equipment just sitting around doing nothing. It's just sitting there. Look at that. Tractor sitting there. Oh, yeah, see? He's probably sleeping. Oh, no. See, he saw me and said, oh, I'm going to look bad. Yeah, now he got going. Yeah, there you go. Now he got going. I'm telling you. It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy world that we live in. A crazy farming world. Let's see. I'm assuming that they want these wood chips dumped up into this neck of the woods, into these um, compartments here, whatever you, can, whatever you call them. We'll see. You want them here? Well, I'm kind of facing the wrong way here. Hey, and I let's turn around and my trailer opens up on that side. La -da -dee, la -da -da. I'm assuming that's where they want them. Where else would they want them? Hmm. They got a little bit of a problem here. You don't think they want them over here, do they? Why would they want them over here? That's a dumb place to put wood chips. That's a stupid place to put wood chips right here. Unless they have conveyors that go over to those bins. Um, oh, get back here. Oh, I can run. I'm going to run. Get me back here. No, that doesn't quite look right. I wonder where they want their stupid wood chips. They should have a sign. They should have a sign that says, hey, put your damn wood chips here. Apparently, they want their wood chips here. So, we'll drop them off. Oh, I could have backed it. Oh, what am I stuck on? Oh, I'm, I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling. Holy crap, look at that money go up. Maybe there's some big money in wood chips. I spent all that money, that logging trailer. I should have just wood chipped them all. Look at that! Look at that! That little trailer load paid me eleven thousand three hundred eighty-one bucks. Well, that's not that's not too shabby, my farming friends. I could go along with that. Zeke will probably take my money. Why is my back tires not spinning on my trailer? I think I have a trailer issue here. Let's unhook it. I got a trailer issue. Um, pretend you don't see that. Yep. Use your imagination. Use your imagination. I have a friend that calls it enhanced realism. Yep, it's all enhanced realism. But I think he's a... I don't know, he's gonna... Holy crap, that's a lot of grass. Look at all that grass out there. Man, the guy has really deforested the whole area. And then he has got grass everywhere. It, it, I don't know. I don't know. Well, now what? Okay, I sold that. So there's some money in wood chips to be had. There is definitely some money in wood chips to be had. I might have to try the logging thing. I'm going to have to try the logging thing. And then I'll have to try... Well, i got three more fields to harvest, too. But we're kind of ready to go. I'm getting a little bit under the weather here. You can tell i got a little bit of a cold in my throat. You know, stupid... You know, why does he have this mower sitting here when he's got the big... The big crone thing going on? You know what it is? You know what... I'll tell you what it is. Well, you can figure it out. I don't want to spoil the moment, but you can figure it out. Yep. You can figure it out. Why he's got one more there and the other mower going... I don't know. 
It's all, it's all conniving. It's all uh, behind the scenes. I don't know. Weird. Weird. Hey, here's that grease monkey guy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. That is one butt ugly tractor you got there. That is one butt ugly tractor. That looks like the tractor that he uh, threw across my grain bins into my parking lot. Yep. I tell you what. It's not fair. They're, they're so mean to me. They are so, so mean to me. But as you can see, my farming friends, I know it's been a while. It has been a while, and I appreciate um, all the kind thoughts and messages, but um, I will discuss it next time. I'll, I'll tell you what's going on next time, but we kind of got back into the, uh, Sophie and I got into, back into the farming bug. So we got Middleburg going on, which I'm going to show you probably in a day or two. You can see what's going on there. We made a lot of changes. We, 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 we've, um, we've made a killing. We made a killing on our special brown water. And then we made a killing on some land. So you'll see what's going on there. But we are across the pond right now. Sophie and I are just kind of getting settled. We have a lot of work to do. We have some uh, building to do. We have animal pens to build. We've got farmland to purchase and expand. We've got fields to combine. We've oh, we got all kinds of stuff going on. Sophie and I will be busy. And then across the pond, back in the good old U.S. of A., we've got some vineyard work to do. So we'll, we'll do all that. But it's going to be back. It's good to be back into the farming life, man. I'm telling you what. Nothing, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. Beside, be, being the fact that I have to put up with these two wackadoodles here in my little area, I, I can live with it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. They'll provide some entertainment, too, but along the way. Um, I mean, everything they do is funny. So it all kind of works out. But right now, what I'm going to do, let's see, it's uh, coming on 2 o'clock here. Oh, stop there, Prius. I am going to put the trailer back. I can't believe I want you to wasn't wood chips. This is a small trailer. What did I have? 6,500 liters or something like that? I'll get this thing parked back in the shed. Apparently, I have to re um, think about my hitch setup here. My back tires are off the ground. That's not good. And I kind of got all kinds of crap just laying around here. I look like the other two guys. They're far near. I mean, they got crap laying on the side of the road. They got crap in the ditch. They got crap. I don't know. They got crap they ain't even using. It's It's... It really is um, a sad thing. But we'll park this back. I think what I'm going to do is... Well, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to grind these stumps. Oh, I left the case run. Well, oh, I'll put this back here real quick. We'll just... Uh, we'll see how that stump grinder goes. I just picked it up at the shop today. A new Kubota skid loader. So we'll park this back. I don't need this right now. I suppose I could have... Um, put this behind my zeal and had a little more um, storage capacity but you know what I can't believe how much the zeal holds if I told you you'd fall off your chair I'm telling you the zeal it can hold a lot of grain my friends it can hold a lot of grain you betcha yeah we'll just park that there okay turn that off it's a good tractor it worked pretty good I kind of like it ugly paint color though but I kind of like it Okay, I've got some logs on there, too, because, holy man, I made, uh, what did I make, uh, $11,000 on logs, or on wood chips? That's not bad. I'll have to get a find a place that low loader and get that put away back in the shed over there. But my whole thinking was that I'm going to cut down some trees here, I'm going to expand this operation, so I can put in some, cat. oh, yep, put your seatbelts on, put your belts down. Start. Okay, now, uh, let's turn on the stump grinder. There we go. Now we just got to find the damn stumps. I keep driving over them with the tractor, and they kind of get in the way, so I figured this would be a good thing. Ooh, look at that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Is that even a stump? Yeah, it is. Grind that, grind that puppy. Holy man, look at that thing. Grind that stump. Taking a long time to grind the stump. This is a long process. I don't know if I have patience for all this. Why did I cut? Why did I cut the tree off so high, though? I should just have a little bit of a stump. But uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we got that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue cutting some stumps. I might cut down some more trees, and then uh, next time we come back, we'll um, we'll probably get a load of logs up there because it'll probably still be today, the the first of September. We have got uh, plenty of time to get our crops done. I'm not too worried about it, and the moisture is a little high after this morning rain, so it'll be a good thing if they can just uh, hang out and set for a while. And kind of go. Come on, stump. So I can't go side to side is the problem. Nope. Come on. 
Oh man, we gotta re we gotta rethink this. Ah, huh, that's not too bad. Well, it does take a while to the grind a stump, though. It does. I mean, I've 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 grounded a few stumps in my life. I have. I don't uh, I don't want to do it for for a living or anything. But uh, you know, once in a while, it's not too bad. All right. Well, it's good to see you all again. I hope you enjoyed it. Welcome to Ebony Island with um, Mouse and uh, Grease Monkey. They will have um, links to them in the description. All right, Grease Monkey is over on that thing called Twitch. Mouse is here on YouTube. He um, he does all kinds of sorts of stuff. He plays a great game called Operation Lovecraft. Yep, go look at it on Steam. He loves he loves playing that. And uh, Grease Monkey and them. Well, they do some trucking too. He does some trucking. But uh, we're kind of busy farming later. Texas is out now too, so we've been doing some trucking. But um, good to see you. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week coming up. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, keep them. Oh, look, God, that's a big stuff. And keep them between the ditches, my friends. Cheers. Oh, grind, 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 grind. I need some grinding music.